Hello folks and welcome back to Numa Sand. First of all, what we need to do for today is pick up some milk. Because our productions have run out of milk. Or our farm supply production has. But man, these cow cows I've realized are bloody hungry they are. They require about 48-50 litres of TMR a month. Thankfully we had a bunch in storage already so that's good for us but definitely need to up our size production because let's say if we need 50,000 litres a month that is 600,000 litres a year to more they need so that is 300,000 litres of silage, 150,000 litres of hay, and then the rest in 150,000 litres of straw. Yeah, 150 hay and straw, and the rest in silage. So, we need to plan on perhaps create a mega field of grass. Also, we are ready to harvest. But first of all, we need to get some of the sorghum and wheat over. But also, it might go up overnight. And that's because, as we sort of hinted in that episode, we set everything to sell, including our methane. So if we're not producing gold at the moment, there ain't really a need for methane. Actually, one thing I will do is, because we will have it back at some point, well, some more stones than that. So, let's go down here. Let's keep on going down. So, our methane. Okay, we're out of sugar beet and sugar beet cut. We're going to set that to store. We're going to store the methane for now. And sorry, we keep on to uh, producing that for the cow, so I should want to keep on saying that because everyone gets stones now and we need um, some methane, just get some syrup from the cows. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit top heavy on the right hand side because it's not perfectly balanced. Oop, I'll pass it. little weedy there. But yeah, so we've got a fair bit of money overnight. Okay, trick points there. That's going to consume everything. And if we turn on Interactive zone markers. Ah, it's down here. So, go to you. So, oats and sorghum, not wheat or that. So, we'll turn those on. Get that converted into flour. But now, time to buy the combine harvester. Been thinking about it for some time in that. So, harvesters. Few options for us. Go with Colossus, perhaps, but instead, we're going to go with the Colossus Lexion 8800 6800 US. Put the 8800 engine in. Uh, let's put straw distribution width to 40 meters, I think. Double flash beacons, yes. Field scanners, yes. Have everything. New a new spout, yes. Seven XL, sure, why not? So that is four hundred and forty grand. Now for the header, and we did. Enables a few options for us, so if we go over here, we got like the honeybee setup that we used on what was it, Silver and Forest? But I remember having some issues with the flex cart and that. Yeah, we got it to work eventually, don't get me wrong. But I'm thinking 
we go with a bigger header so not the tall height control stuff but yeah something like a 50.2 meter header that would do of course we do have some options so we got the John Deere HG650F or multicolor or not take off the branding canoe lives yes air bar ah that's green seal might as well go with the multicolor so for that we will have a class green what's being changed to pink oh, yeah no don't do brand stickers or anything ah so those little hoses thing little air hoses so yep yeah, so turn those to white that also be a class color go white and think a fence red for the wheels yeah that looks really nice oh there was space blocked what how come but yeah this is our biggest convoy we can get no we'll shove you out of the way and let's get that header in a sec and there we go and we bought a header trailer to attach with it as well and boy that looks massive But yeah, I like how it flexes as well, so hopefully the snap-on function of these should just be fine. Well, it would be if it was the right way around. But yeah, this is going to be really awkward for us, but it's worth it. Because once we get this property on, out of the shop, we we'll have to worry say about the tight spaces. Um, let's get a vehicle up here a sec. So go to you. Yeah, it's quite soon to have a class with us, so really we need to turn this around. My problem is just the maneuverability of it. Like, not so much maneuverability, but the header coming off. That's my biggest um, problem or worry, so. Yeah, because that's in the way as well. We're smashing into everything. There we go. So if we do that, okay, clears the wall just about. Good to know. So there we go. That's that on. Yeah, a draper header would make more sense. I uh, really for the sake of two meters, we could have saved ourselves too much hassle. Does that snap on? It does not. I just want to double check a sec, so. Alright, so looking at the use market, nothing interesting there. Ah, so it's just those. 
Oh, well, give it a try. Uh, yeah, seems to be alright. May not seem to be obviously snapped on, but at the moment it seems to be unstable enough, so. So, unfold the combine ready. And of course, the source of this is going to be outside. But really, like, once we get out of the shop, don't we need to worry about putting it back on the head of the trailer as such? But yeah, not sliding at all. So you know what? I'm happy with my choices here. Definitely regrets. I'm gonna get a ton of wheat because our mega field is the wheat, and the small field is the barley. But I'm half tempted to do like oats next year as well, oats and sorghum. So perhaps we can use this as a grass field afterwards. But yeah, we'll deal with that as and when. So our sorghum, that's going to be ready to harvest tomorrow in August. And there she is. That is absolutely... I'm absolutely giddy about it. It's the one combine we need. Don't need to buy any more combines. We do need to look at a corn header unless we forge that for silage. Hmm. How much is corn worth? Let's have a look. So let's go up. Corn, corn, corn. Best on sale is in July. Like now. So I'm going to have to hold it for an entire year now. So a decent forge harvester, that's going to cost us, what, five, six hundred grand? Compared to a corn header, get a decent size, we're looking at easy a hundred grand, aren't we? Nine meters, we're looking at seventy-two grand. Get out. A proper one, like the Capello ones, but even the cheapest one, 12 meters, that's 121 grand, all the way up to 188 grand. There are some options for us, so, but yeah, let's go and get, yeah, stop waffling on, let's get this load up. Turn the beakers off so in the time lapse it doesn't flash too much. There we go. Okay, just want to make sure. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. There it is ready. Oh, adjust out. That is adjusting. Ah, it's adjusting how much this flexes. Ooh, that is nice. Ah, so we can properly fully adjust this. So, so I think that. It's a pretty short crop, so I don't need it out too much. Oof. Wow, look at that. Chomp. <laughs> Sit down. Get right out. Turn that off. And yeah, let's start harvesting. So it does this at 6 miles an hour. Didn't really look at the speeds in that, what's the others? 6, 6, 6. 
Okay, no for that. But yeah, so what? Could have gotten that slightly smaller and doing that 10 miles an hour. I'm going to still customize it to our liking. But yeah, TARD is going to be very busy for sure. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, if you had like, the tall height control mod, um, not mad, mod, mod, we could just fast farm this, easily get done quickly, but, you know what, at times, I just don't like, especially when, not so much in time lapses, when doing work in between, just sit around, whack on some tunes, I'm just taking the immersion of this. Okay, let's skip left now. Uh oh, okay, let's we'll sort through the headlands. But yeah, it's just like keeping on our view, making sure we get every green we can. And I have turned crop destruction off because we need to do the headlands and also get the lorry in here. But destroy some crop. Yeah, just pivot around. I think once you've done the headlands, if we go up and down like this. So I think we'll do the headlands, we'll do around the tree cluster. Need to be careful I'm not clipping the edge because we're still really okay. In terms of perhaps pushing the combine, what it can do in terms of speed and that because it is a bigger header than recommended. And yeah, I know the was it the Colossus is based on the Coloss and. We can customize it to our liking, but can't really be a real class compared to, I don't know, just a aftermarket one, essentially, a custom one. But yeah, I think with all this wheat, put it in storage for now. Well, I'll put some of it into, what's it? The um, green mill, or yeah, wherever green factory, get some flour for the first load. Because even if we don't able to use all the flour straight away for whatever we need, we can still utilize it for the productions long term, so. But yeah, five miles an hour. Think. Okay, may the cat get in a slightly faster one. 30.8, not 30.7, I can live with that. Mm -hmm. Class green. Mm -hmm. Loss and a well for wheels. Go with a fent red. Cause you know what? We could do with the extra speed. Yeah, you know what, heck it. Yeah. Change your minds. Or do we still keep with this? I don't know. Should we keep it? Uh, oh, I know what heck it. Worst case scenario, we could just buy another combine. Sell that. Let's see if we can, can redo the working speed at 10 miles an hour. But you know what heck it. Just keep on going with this. Let's 
how does it handle this hill here? Not too bad, still 5 miles an hour. I think a lot of it is because obviously we're right on the edge of the map, so it may slightly clip it and slow it down a bit, so we'll reassess once we've done once we get to the bottom part of the field. But anyways, yeah, like that, I've hit the wall there, the map wall. Okay, and for some reason, that did not. Try again. There we go. So yeah, as I was saying, we will continue on this. Get us all done. Turn times up to times three. And yeah, get smashed out and see you folks once we are done.
And there we go, as we're continuing on with the harvest, so we've got 160,000 years of wheat at the moment. Or 158, almost 160. And if we have a look at the PDA, I'll say that is what, almost half of the fields done? About half? Maybe, yeah, a bit more than that. But yeah, still got the rest of this to do. I am going to need to work on that. Also, we start to swath the grass. So I think you know, what we we'll do here is we'll take over. That's another thing we need to do is get all this grass mowed. And then, actually, how much could we get for this? Because we could go with the big crone mower. Also, we did sell some clothes, so maybe worth having a look. Yeah, sure, we'll get our money back for this. But if we don't, always try to sell some produce. Actually, what? Skip till two o'clock. That's another seven grand. And there's a great demand at the farm shop. I wonder what that could be. Let's have a look. Is there anything that we're producing or we could do a in? Oh, chocolate. Nope. Yeah, only if you had chocolate being produced. Actually, why don't we have chocolate being made? Actually. Okay, that's being consumed and that, all good. Got a bit of silage here, we could sell a load of silage perhaps, but it's not, it's the worst time for silage at the moment, so. And that's the worst thing. But chocolate. Can we make chocolate here? Ah, that's why. We can't make chocolate. What would be the production that does that? A dairy plant. Ah, wait a minute. <coughs> do I have a modded dairy? Yes, I do. Not only the cheesy one, but all that requires is milk and sugar. And also produces raw milk, cheese, and butter. But where on earth can we fit that to? Try to think, uh, where can we place you? I'm sorry, there. Yeah, let's first of all, let's focus on the chrome mower. <coughs> and then, yeah, we can go with that, so... No, we're going to have issues with fitting this in, but can we just edge it in? There we go. Hopefully that little bit brings it into trigger. Yes. Ah, shy of 12 grand. What can we get for 12 grand? Try to think, wood chips, 12 grand. We're gonna need a full load of wood chips, so. Let's go and grab a trader sec. And there we go, got the wood chips, so got the tray full of wood chips and yeah again I was thinking about expanding our land. Actually what land do we have? Because I may have bought one more plot. Yeah, we've got 36 and 37 as well, so 
do a few of these trees. But yeah, my plan, I think, long term would be create another mega field, so we have like two mega fields. Do you want know what please say? Attach the trader. Small troops will come back and deal with eventually, but for now, we'll just focus on these ones. Should do it, depending on what sizes we get. We'll get another big one like that. I think this one will do. So let's go and chop this up. There we go. the rest of this up. Okay, that's filled up, so we need pretty much a few more of these smaller trees. So, go grab you. And that's one, two more perhaps. You know what, that's close enough, I'll do. So now that should be enough for what we need. Let's make a quick buck in that. And seeing this wood chips and that, trees, a lot of plenty of trees for now. I was like, we still haven't touched our new forest yet. But there's like trees by the sawmill, I may get rid of those. May just plug them straight into the sawmill itself. But yeah, how's worker doing? Not too bad at the moment. We've just emptied it, but at least a quarter of a million years of wheat we'll get. Maybe more? Who knows? So yeah, a hundred and one thousand liters of wood chips. And that should get us about twenty-five grand. Is that the best price or that's the worst price for it? Well, we'll find out now. So I'm pretty sure we can go up to like 450 in that in the winter, so. Like in January, February time. But yeah, so here we go. I think here we'll do just fine. And yeah, the 250 per thousand litres. Is what I guessed. Well, it wasn't so much guessing, it was just looking at the finances. Go to wood chips. Oh no. It's 250 in the winter, not now. Alright, bear with me a sec whilst I go and grab one more load of wood chips. Alright, that's loads of wood chips. And that'll get us where we want to be. Maybe do one more of those for the. Uh, what's it? Chocolate. Chocolate? Oh, what tires do you want to go with? BKT, of course. 
Oh, it's 380, not 340. Oh, that's requiring a bit more work to do. That requires another one. Ooh, actually, a few more loops than perhaps I first predicted. Actually, I got an idea. If we say bring the fence up here, uh, where can I find the fence? Okay, we set you there. This will mean we'll have to do more wood chips to cover the cost, but I think it'll be worth it. So, traders. Oh, you know what, heck it, let's go with this one. I will sell this once we're done. Go with all fence. Sure, why not? Actually, I was thinking about getting a lorry in that first fall, but... Oh, the worker's done. Fair enough. I was wondering why that was a, it wasn't ready to be emptied yet. There we go, get you finished off. Yeah, I know we can sell some equipment, buy it back later and all that good stuff. Like, perhaps even just send the eggs, or just wood in general would be better. Oh, do we do that? Oh, okay. I'll say we do one load of wood chips, and then we'll just sell a bunch of wood to get our finances back up. That's me, that's what I said. All this money coming in. Still gonna be struggling for money in certain ways of where I want the farm to be, but yeah. So let's get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. There we go. So, yep, got the money we need now, and saw some extra bits here and there, some wood chips, some planks. Not a full pile of honey that was in the storage, and some clothes. So, you know what? Oh, I'm just going to plump you in there. 
okay, it may not be as much as I want it, but it's still better than nothing. So now we could buy the big, big chrome mower, big M450. Where is that two BKTs? And you know what? Let's go and put this down over here. So thinking somewhere, perhaps over here be better. So goes in on the right and comes out on the left, or it comes out in front. So. I am happy with that. All that needs is sugar and all that good stuff. And it's all been distributed. Yeah, fuck it. Oh no, no, no. Why are we selling the strawberries? I was just wondering why our cakes were sort of being produced. Okay, so. Dispute, 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 sell. Yes, yes. No, sell those. Dispute that. Asset that used to store. Now, look. Correct. Oh, no, okay, that one's fine. It was just that one was a bit off. Yeah, it's like that one's also set to sell. Why? Sugar beet dispute. Man, good thing I'm checking these now. Whether or not this was thrown away and was everything to sell overnight or what. Absolutely mad. But yeah, no, no, don't want to sell sugar, distribute that. There we go. And this is what we want a self propelled mower. That could do what well, better work with than the last one. First, you obviously correct. Wait a minute. That's a pin hook. I guess I'm going to need a PTO. Wagon. Let's see if this can hook up and work. So if it does, as you know, you know what? No, we'll bother. We'll just leave it be. Because also you need the PTO, don't you, as well? So. That was an idea, at least. Is that, is that a different cutter? I oh, know, at one point it seemed like a different cutter it did. Nah, it's just a lightning effect. I was like, okay, why well, is that a different shade of green? And no, all good. Ah, actually. He needs you to finish off the fields. So put the pipe away. 
so it's just these three bits here left over a couple of bits here and there but apart from that ain't too bad and then before the end of the day we need to get that body field done should have done that first action hindsight but oh well live and learn but anyways that's out Please set you to finish that off. We need to grab the milk. The sugar should be sent over. I should want to wait for another hour. There we go. So let's go and grab that milk sack. So hook you up. I grab the milk. There's the milk. It's only 6,000 litres because we did collect most of it early on in the day. And yeah, I haven't had much time to produce any milk. But at the moment, something's better than nothing. Going to this. So you've got a bit of sugar in that. Oh, some decent production as well. Just from that alone, 15,000 litres of butter a month almost. Oh, well, almost 13. Chocolate, get about 1,400 litres over. Sugar's in here. Uh, only a thousand liters, but everything should keep up in that. Now I'm shuffling the chocolate cell before the end of next episode. But yeah, I think you know what? Let's start picking up some of this straw. Because, yeah, it is going to get carried away. Is it worth using the wind rover? Yeah, let's get, uh, have a look at least. Because we should be just wide enough to get two swaps in one go. Just based on the position of what the width of the headers on the combine. I'm guessing that's the worker stuck. Oh well, leave you be. Because if we can get two swaps in one go, that would be helpful. Just about, I think. Maybe not all of it. Oh, no, there we go. That's just that first little bit, first of all, but. Yeah, literally right on the edge of what we can pick up. But yes, picking up all that straw gets funneled into the middle, put into neat piles, and then we pick it up with the forage wagon. Well, yes, yeah, some bits we will have to deal with ourselves later on. I'm not liking the fact we're able to use Sideshow Additive for this as well, but... What can you do in the end of the day? So we'll try to get off. Ah, so we can always do... We get some of it, but not all of it. Because yes, our rides can start missing bits for both. Oh well, at least we tried on that part. But already at 50,000 litres of hay. Not hay, straw. Okay, and I think it's just two more sections to do. 
this one here and the one over there over the trees and then we'll go on to the oats as well as pick us up whilst we're here there we go but yeah the little shraggy bits we'll perhaps do it off camera or something just get it all picked up and that but Overall, not too bad. 233,000 litres. And let's go and put some of this into the grain mill. Almost like some of it breaking. It sounds like it's someone's farting, but. <laughs> Uh, that's an image for me there. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong, I'm not sure if it's the lorry or what. But it just occasionally seems to sort of do weird physics. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That cannot fill underneath. I've seen buildings clip more than that. That's nothing. Shh, dump it here. Oh no, 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 no. That was a bad idea. Oh come on, it's right in spot. You know what I'm going to do? I know we said we were going to do it on this series, but I need to sort this out right now. So, how much is it for a wheel loader? Yeah, you know what? Heck it, just lease it. Have a massive 10,000 liter bucket. Just get rid of it. The Volvo L180H. But yeah, we will get this at some point because having a wheel loader, especially for plans, what I want to do with things like the biogas plant and all that. Actually, why set everything itself? We want to get all this stuff in there. Get the biggest plant bill, which is going to be at least half a million. Why am I just sort of wasting profit on just selling everything? Uh, anyways, Oh yeah, the weird physics ought to be able to do there. Well, no, it's not, it's, not, it's not weird physics, just the unusual steering. Is that actually doing anything? No, I'm just spreading this along. Greedy. The trigger point is like literally here. Nope, it is here. Ah, oh, freak's sake. I thought it was over there. No, it's over here. Don't tell me, if I get that lorry. First of all, you're just done. Ah, I 
Half Frog said to work on this. Side track movement, I know. Well, I was just having to run about something. Oh, I didn't realise we can do this. So uh, work on this. Makes sense. So right, a little cough it there, so can we I do not think we can have to do double, so if I say you know what? Just set on the go and see what it does. And that's that almost done. And it's just like that's a little bit over here. But yeah, I can't believe such an idiot sandwich with that. Getting the points mixed up. Oh well. Leaving that there and all that good stuff, I guess in. You know what? Chop you up. And there we go. So that's that's doing that, that's all good. Grab the semi. Oh, Lori, sure, freeze out. Boot you out the way. Perhaps could have done that a bit more delicately. But if it says we can tip, I am actually going to be proper annoyed. Guessing we can't still drive through, so let's reverse up. Stop dancing. Oh, give me a break. Ah, don't tell me that's that full up already. No. I did not say that to... Oh, for freak. Oh, this is going to be a bit of an expensive clean-up, so you know what? I'm just going to get this all done. Oh. Stupid green meal. Oh. So I thought that was just emptying by the green door and that. That's why... Move over you. Whatever. Hey, we got a bucket in that ass. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna start ranting on because yeah, it's just really not annoying me to see this, so yeah. We'll get us all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. And there we go, so... Got that cleared up, or it's got the most of it. There are some bits of grain left on the floor, not sure if that's because of the wheel loader and that can't really pick it up. Actually, you know what, we can test that, so if we... Pop this here for a minute. There we go, if we... Go and grab this. So, is that for Italian odor or front odor? I f think that's for the Italian odor, but you can always check that. So, get this hooked on for the first time. Actually, in a quite a while, actually. So, there we go. Let's see 
if it was hook on. If it doesn't, we'll just quickly go and grab a front loader bucket. Yeah, that's a Teandra one, so front loader tools, universal bucket, and let's we'll quick grab that. So I'm trying to pick up those ass up bits. And we'll do the we will return. Helpful that was it saves on having to get like a forge pickup or something or just using one sword buckets. Actually the Tayan one could have actually done that quite well actually, but I thought you know what to go with the big bulky one. Yeah, slightly like broken rules of the series, but it's just for the sake of saving time of picking that up, so... Yeah, see a few bits on the floor there. Quite difficult to pick up with the wheel loader bucket. Where it's just too big and bulky to pick up. I am not sure. There's only one way to find out. So, go around. Pick you up. There we go. But yeah, it's 77,000 litres of oats in there. And from the rest of the fields. Maybe it was the oats we were harvesting. Yeah. With the rest, actually, until we got 250,000 litres from the fields. There we go, yeah, I knew there was more and that, that could be picked up. It was just the bulk this of the bucket. few more thousand years in there so not too bad and it was definitely worth it so if we go to our own tools go to front of the tools get rid of the bucket and there we go so yeah it's a bit green there but honestly maybe another thousand years there so what's that a couple of hundred quid in green we've lost overall not too worried about that. But yeah, back down to 3,600. How's that chocolate production going? It's going alright. Yeah, definitely will need more sugar in there. But yeah, we've already got 200,000 years of straw picked up. So that's enough for one year's of cow feed for what we've got at the moment. So the rest we could possibly look at selling or something like that. Not sure yet. But yeah, it's been a busy day. And we're going to round off the day in the next episode. We're finishing off the barley harvest or starting that, get that done. That needs to be done today. 
and then we'll resume in August afterwards. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Actually, what? Well, let's do this now quickly. So, yep. Yeah, let's get this done quickly. This shouldn't take too long. And that's where I think we'll wrap up the episode, I think. Finishing off our Mega Harvest. Definitely could do with a second combine. Perhaps I'll be look at in the following year. Is get a second one of these. So we can have a worker going on one. And we can have the second one. done so there is 25,000 liters of barley in the green mill we've got 14,000 liters here and X amount of wells in the trailer so overall yeah pretty quick harvest that was especially compared to the mega field so oops. there we go let's correct that So total, we've got 25,000 litres plus, wait for this to empty, 75,000 litres, 76, 77, 78, just shy of 80,000 litres of barley. Overall, I ain't too bad. I will put the rest of this into the silo, grab the trader, and then dump that in. But man, that is a lot of straw we got to pick up. And that 200,000 years really very made a dent in the grand scheme of things. Shove you out of the way. I think we've still got the grass to do, we've got to pick that up. We've got all sorts to do in the next episode. And really, if we could have got this done sooner, try to turn this mega field done in today. So what we could have done, 
potentially is put grass in today. I'll be ready to harvest in September. Harvest it again in November, just before winter, but we were just we're not lucky, unfortunately, so. So let's grab you. Nope. So yeah, actually you know what? Store, store. Uh, is that the me sawmill? Yes, that is the me sawmill, so store you. I should we'll distribute for now. Distribute that. Sell. Store. Store. <clears throat> store the oozle. Distribute the butter. Store the cheese. I know we're going to have a lot of pallets to deal with, but overall, I'm not fussed about that. Actually, i keep strawberries on distribution. The corn and all that, I'm happy to keep those as they are. I'm not too fussed about the greenhouses because you never really get much enough, anyways. Silage, that's all it's done processing. Do need more cotton, so we need to think about planting some cotton in the new year. We yeah, stored furniture, wood chips, send those. I'm not fussed about that. Distribute that. Yes, I'm happy with all that distribution. Store that. Store that. Uh, store that. Store. Yeah, storing all of that. Oh, we can get raw milk. Actually, what's the price for that? I have interest. So, prices for milk 1200 ish per thousand years. And raw milk. That's worth more. We need to put a sell point down, but. I just might do that. Produce some raw milk as well. So we need to f get a sell point for that. So plant them. No. I may add some extra cell points just to see if they're worth anything. So, yeah, say place that there. Farm factory. Nope, don't want none of those. Nope, don't want those. Why ain't there a sell point for the milk? That is odd. That's just giving us a prize, but do not. Yeah, chicken coop. Let's go to the factories. The dairy is one of the earlier ones. Farm dairy. Ah, farm dairy. Perhaps I was looking at the wrong place. Farm dairy. Farm factory, farm factory. Is there a sell point now for raw milk? Nope, still no. Okay, that is odd. You the fault, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Eh, market sold for eggs. 
Now you're selling at a better price compared to everything else. But we'll deal with that all in the next episode because we're running out of time here. Definitely getting on, maybe an hour episode is maybe in the end. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you've enjoyed the episode, smash a low. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.